जय राधा माधवा कुंज बिहारी जय जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी जय गोपी जनवाल भागिरी बरधारी शोदानंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदानंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदानंदन ब्रज जशोदानंदन ब्रज जन रंजन जशोदानंदन ब्रज जन रंजन सुदानंदन जमुना तीर बन चारी बन जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो नितानंद श्रीयादित गदाधर श्री बाशादी गौरभक्त बिंद जया श्री कृष्ण चैतन्यभुनितानंद श्रीयादित गदाधाली गो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण 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 हरे राम हे राम राम हरे हरे जया प्रभुपाद 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 जया प्रभु हरी बो हरी बो हरी बोल निताय गो हरी बो दाय गो हरी बो हरि बो जय राधा दामोदर राधा दामोदर राधे जय राधा दामोदर मुदर रा 
जया जशोदा दामोदर जशोदा दामोदर जशोदा दामोदर जशोदा दामोदर जशोदा राजशोदा दामोदर जशोदा दामोदर जशोदा नित लीला पुरुषों के सुपात परमंग सुब्रिब्राज हजार जोश्तो दर्शन तस्वीर सीमांत सिला भय चरना रविंद्र भक्ति विदान तो सामी सिला प्रोपाद की जाए नितल विष्णु सुबाद सिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सोचेती गोस्वामी प्रोपाद की जाए आनंद कड़ी बच्चना बिंद की जाए गुरु परम परा की जाए सिमात भागवतम की जाए कार्तिक ब्रतो की जाए सिसी राधा धामोदर जीव की जाए सिसी जोशुदा धामोदर की जाए शखा धामोदर की जाए Shamavet Vaishnav Binda Ki Jai Nitai Gaur Pramanande Hari Hari Bol All Glories to the Assembled Devotees Hare Krishna All Glories to the Assembled Devotees Hare Krishna All Glories to the Assembled Devotees Hare Krishna All Glories to Sri Sri Guru and Gauranga All Glories to Sula Prabhupada Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskirtam Naranchaiva Naruttamam Devim Sarasatim Vyasam Tato Jayam Udhirayet Nasta Prayasu Abhadreshu Nittam Bhagavata Sivaya Bhagavati Uttama Sloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtaki Mukankarati Bachalam Pangalangayate Girim Jatkripatamaham Bande Sri Guru Dinatarinam Shaitana Madhavam Paramanandishwaram Thank you for all coming to glorify Srila Prabhupada's beautiful teachings, Srimad Bhagavatam commentary on 13th, 10th Kento, 13th chapter, text 31 to 33, right? Okay. So, you can join, but we are not going to repeat until 33. Sametta gavo dhavatsan vatsavato pi apayan Gilanti eva changani lihayanta sasaram payam. The cows had given birth to new cubs, but while coming down from Govardhan hills, the cows, because of increased affection for the older cubs, allowed the older cubs to drink milk from their milk bags, and then began licking the cubs' bodies in anxiety, as if wanting to swallow them. <laughs> Any mother had experience of swallowing your own child? <laughs> you will when you arrive in Vrindavan. <laughs> Krishna is like this. Then 32. Gopastadaradhanayasha mughala jaromanayona durgava kichato bhuyet Govatsai Dadrishu Sutan. The coward men, having been unable to check the cows from going to their cubs, felt simultaneously ashamed and angry. They crossed the rough road with great difficulty, but when they came down and saw their own sons, they were overwhelmed by great affection. Purport by His Divine Grace Srila Prabhupada. Everyone was increasing in affection for Krishna when the coward men coming down from the hill saw their own sons, who were no one else than Krishna, their affection increased. Now we'll do 33. We'll read that uh, word to word meaning first. Tat ikshana ut Prema rasa apluta asayaha. All the thoughts of the coward man merged in the mellow of parental love. 
which was aroused by seeing their sons. Jata Anuragaha, experiencing a great longing or attraction. Gata Mannayaba Baha, their anger disappeared. Arbakan, young son, their young sons. Udhaya, lifting, Durbihi, with their arms. Pori, Rabha, embracing, Murdhani on the head. Grinei, by smelling, Abapu, obtained, Paramam, the highest, Mudam, pleasure, Te, those covered men. Tad ikshan utprema rasa ap Tad ikshan utprema rasa ap luta ashayam Tad ikshan utprema rasa ap luta ashayam Jato Nuraga Gata Manayavur Bakam Jato Nuraga Gata Manayavur Bakam Udhaya Durbhi Pari Pari Rabha Murdhani Udhaya Durbihi Parirabh Murdhani Grine Rabapu Paramam Mudamte Grine Rabapu Paramam Mudamte Tadikshanut Prema Rashaplutashaya Jato Nuraga Gata Manaya Barbakam Udhaya Durbi Parirabha Murdani Grine Rabapu Paramam Mudamte Please chant. Tadikshanat prema rasha plutashaya Jato nuraga gatamanu puta Anevaku paramam Tadikshana Prema Rasa Plutasha Jato Nuraga Gatamaya Rurbakam Udhavi Padirava Mardane Vaishnavis Tadikshana Prema Rashatula Shaya Jata Nuraga Gatamana Varbakam Udhadurvi Parirabha Murdani Grine Ravapu Paramam Mudamte Tadikshanat prema rasapla chaya Uddha raga jatamana barbakam Uddha durbi pariraga murdani 
Parmamudamte Purport by His Divine Guest Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai After Brahma stole the Sorry, the translation again At that time all the thoughts of the coward man merged in the mellow of paternal love which was aroused by the sight of their sons experiencing a great attraction their anger completely disappearing they lifted their sons embraced them in their arms and enjoyed the highest pleasure by smelling their sons heads purport by sila prabhupad after brahma stole the original coward boys and cubs krishna expanded himself to become the boys and cubs again therefore because the boys were actually Krishna's expansion, the coward men were especially attracted to them. At first, the coward men who were on top of the hill were angry, but because of Krishna, the boys were extremely attractive. Therefore, the coward men immediately came down from the hill with special affection. Om Jnana Timirandhasya Gena Anjana Salakaya Chakshurun Militam Jena Tashmai Sri Guru Venam Sri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Sayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Shapadantikam Bande Aham Sri Guru Sri Jutapada Kamalam Sri Guru Vaishnavamsya Sri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathanitam Tam Sajeevam Saddhaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakhanitam Sya Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Simate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Sarasati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesa Sunnavadi Paschat Deshatari Bancha Kalpataru Vesha Kripa Sindhu Vaivacha Padita Nam Pavone Bho Vaishnavi Bho Namo Namo Mahavadannaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurati Shenamo हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कंतो राधा कंतो नमोस्तुते तप्त कंचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी विश्वभानु सुते देवी प्रणमामि हरि वृंदाए तुलसी देवाए प्रियाए केशवश्च च कृष्ण भक्ति पदे देवी शतवते नमः Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adaita Gadadara Sivasadi Gaura Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So as you can all see that Avai Prabhu helped me to make the chart of Bhatshila Rosh but then I was talking to Jugal Kishu Prabhu just now and then he said since the Damodar Brata is beginning today Perhaps we should uh, touch the Bhagavatam subject and then go to Damodar Brata so that we can be benefited more. So Sanatan Goswami Path says, if you can increase, as Mother Mukha very nicely always, she encourages everyone, that if we can increase the devotion, and one way to do it, less sleep and less eating. <laughs> And sharing that time, that's not enough, sharing that time with some of friends or even karmis. So then I thought at that time that if you, what, you, what we read today in the translation, if you tell someone, I just come from the temple, 
Oh, very nice. And in the temple, they said the Lord was afraid of his mother. And he started crying. And if you meet a karmi, non-devotee, he will immediately say, do you really believe God cries? He has to be afraid. What fear can be if he's God? It don't make sense. So this is non-devotee's idea of Damodar Lila. And if you meet some, some material theologist or material religious follower, they will say, maybe the Hare Krishna philosophy has something not right. Because God is afraid of what? He is everywhere. How can he be afraid? He is in everything. He is controller. So they may misunderstand. And then if you meet some Gani, in Gainesville there are a lot of Ganis. <laughs> if you know the definition of Gani and you search out, you will find. Then they will also give an opinion that if God, the idea of God has to be afraid and cry, this morning you heard, then maybe something not right. Better, this conception we cannot accept and don't bother with it. Uh, just ne neglect it. And then if you meet yogis who also kind of use God to get what they want, they will not give you that conclusion either. Then until you come to another Hare Krishna devotee, then you say, did really Krishna cry out of what? And he was afraid? There was a chase between Joshua and Supreme Person of God and Nala. Then the serious devotee, those who follow Prabhupada's, our Guru Parampara's Mahaprabhu's teaching, they will say, yes, he does cry. He has a feeling. This is true. He was afraid of Joshua. It's not something just for the show. Then you will feel, oh, that's good. So then how to make others also be engaged in this month? There has to be some, first of all, there has to be convincing me, self has to be convinced how this Leela takes place. So I thought, because we have a, I have, I have a little problem always, it's already 8.30, great. I always have a, a little problem with the time, so I will not go to this. But this chart is required in order to relish. Srila Prabhupada has given so much in nectar devotion. I beg you all, please study that book with other devotees, not by yourself, with other devotees. And this chart you can use. Sripad Dhanudar Maharaj also made a very beautiful explanation how to study Srila Prabhupada's books. And we, are, we did also Nectar Devotion. It was very nice. I'm at least, uh, maybe you all may think I'm from India, or my body, not the eye. But actually I had probably more doubt than a lot of Western uh, body devotees. So, but Srila Prabhupada's Nectar Devotion literally removed almost 99.9% uh, my doubt. So I really urge our submit to you all. Please read that Nectar Devotion, but with a group. And you have the chart, then it will be very helpful. So I'll just go straight how this takes place. Because there are a lot of understanding in our beginning, like when you hear about the Karmi, they worship God, they come to temple, they generally use God. Srila Prabhupada writes, they will come here, they will say, my Lord, I open 7-Eleven, uh, he's not thinking he sells hot dog also. He said, I opened 7-Eleven, I need a little more profit. But here I have a hundred dollar, he put it in the hundi box. He wants something, whatever he's paying, he wants something back. Ten times or hundred times or thousand times. Then he's very happy. Then, when, so the, this understanding that ultimately, they really don't want God, they just want the enjoyment. So even if they go to heaven, they also over there, they don't go there to worship God. They want to enjoy. The Gani also worship God. Gani worship God and they come 
to cross the material ocean and they want to enter into impersonal Brahman, then they give up also God. The yogi, they also meditate and they capture the Lord, try to see him in the heart. They cannot, they can never capture. Then after they get this mystic power, they also give up. So then if you read Mother Joshuda, she is giving breast milk to Bhagavan, Supreme Personality of Godhead. And then to take care of the milk, she also give up the God. Let's take care of that. You wonder, is the, is the taking care of boiling milk is more important than God taking care of God? Sometime Krishna comes, Srila Jiva Goswami Path gives in Gopal Champu. Mother Joshuda says, that's enough. I dressed you so much, so many times today. No more. This is the last. Then he well dressed again. He goes out and <laughs> very funny that he tried to make some um, creation of universe. Then Madhu Mangal comes. Sridham comes. Sridham said, you really don't know how to create anything, Krishna. You need to learn. So come look at my creation. It's so beautiful. Krishna says, I know how to do it. No, you don't. Then they push each other's hand and then he gets so mad, Sridham. He gets some dirt, water, and put it on top of Krishna's head and said, this is Abhishekam for you. <laughs> Krishna is so sad. But now he is afraid, not of this. He likes this children game. But he's afraid what he's going to do after 50 dresses changed today. This is 51. But he is so intelligent because he's supreme God, has to be. So he started crying like anything. You know, the baby's cry is the power to conquer mother, affection. He grabbed the mother's leg and the shari and then crying and crying. She didn't, oh no, you made again mess. So like this, this thing goes and then she is talking. I am so uh, shocked that you did not listen. Then it wonder, Sanatana Goswami Pazra, right? does Krishna ever think? Does he care for my dress or me? Which one she cares? As a sadhak, when we chant, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. If we don't understand this Siddhanta, then it will be difficult. His mother Joshuda is care for the boiling milk, giving him unsatisfied drinking with the cloth. She is chastising him. What is important, the cloth, the milk or the Krishna? Or this is both or, or, or one? How? So therefore, Srila Prabhupada gives so much details in nectar devotion. I'm serious. I'm convinced. That's why I'm just relating. Not just I'm just encouraging to study. I also studied and I'm going to start again. I studied a few times the whole book. It's very sweet. It's the only way to relish. In one uh, place, Srila Prabhupada says, without this book, called Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, in a walk. He says, nobody can understand what is Krishna consciousness. That's a very heavy statement. Uh, because Srila Prabhupada says, this Krishna consciousness movement is directly under the supervision of Rupa Goswami Pad. And Prabhupada wanted to uh, make this movement, like Pushkar Prabhu always encouraged. He said there was a five classes every day, and Nectar of Devotion was one of the classes, daily, Prabhupada wanted. So we, uh, I will escape all this and then we'll go to the, uh, today's Damodar Lila. What causes Mother Joshuda to come to this conclusion of um, beginning of this Damodar Lila? Because you all know that there was so much, not complaint, was kind of a, a relishment between the, all the motherly gopis and mother Joshoda. And they felt that Krishna is stealing every day. He's not stealing, but he is a genius mafia leader. He's a, <laughs> he's a two years old. Two years old. Then he would, one gopi would tell mother Joshoda that he did not just steal. He whispered to my own son, and he goes inside and checks where is the butter, where is who, who is sitting, how Krishna can escape. Two years old. 
And he, he, the, their own child goes against them and tells Krishna, well, my mother is here, father is in this room, this room. And, and then Krishna plans, okay, if he, if he fails, he cannot make it. Then he says, all right, do one thing. You go and let all the cuffs out and then scream, oh, no, all the cuffs out, the milk will be, and then everybody will be out, will go and steal. So one after another, every day, so much, and then, but they felt Mother Joshuda is missing this kind of mischievous plan Krishna has. He's so genius, two years, but such a genius. But Mother Joshuda did not see that way because she has an extreme possessiveness. This is very important. Mother, in this Leela, you will see when Mother Joshuda's mind, body, and her speech, all three became one, Krishna appeared. And I, uh, uh, um, how do you say, uh, became visible from his sleep. So this is required to absorb, just like when, uh, when you come to temple on Sunday feast or today Damodara, you come and pay obeisances, you came in front of the Radha Damodar, but you're looking who else is here. So am I in front of, or uh, this is because of these three modes creates this destruction. See, if we can pull it, pull it slowly, slowly. Srila Prabhupada gave a very nice um, purport in 3rd Kento 25, chapter 25th uh, text. Satam prasangad mama virja sangvido bhavanti ritokarna rasayana katha tad joshanat asu apabarga bhatmani shraddha rati bhakti anukkamishyati. This shraddha is not a faith. This shraddha is nirgun shraddha, means our original faith, originally, eternally, we have an eternal faith towards Krishna. But when that faith comes to this world, it mixes with others. So Srila Prabhupada said, when you hear about Krishna topics in the parbord, then you will feel some happiness. Who is feeling the happiness? Maybe the ear like to hear. But this is not real taste. Srila Prabhupada gave a very nice, Srila Vishnu Chakruti Thakur also emphasized this. At that time, we need a very strong, good Sadhu Sangha association. Because after you hear, you find some taste and then it disappears after a while. You go back, I go back to my material life, family, business, this, that, maybe another house, maybe another car, something like this. What happened the taste? If the taste is originally... So Srila Prabhupada breaks down. There is a five required and, and eight gradual steps. It's a very sweet verse. Every verse is sweet. So he said, at that time, you have to have a strong, good association. Even you hearing today, or I'm hearing, I'm speaking, I'm also hearing. So that, that time, if I have a good devotee association, then it will transcend this unwanted destruction. And then it will come to a point where you will take a strong bow. I want to go to Damodar Brato every day to temple. I want to support temple. I want to pay obeisances. I want to see the deity. I want to offer. This bow, as soon as you take the bow, something miracle happens. This is very important. Mahaprabhu also said this to a uh, few places. He quoted this verse. You have to take a bow, Brato. When you take a bow, means you stick to that bow, at that time, your um, realization, it will become so good, at that time some mystic will start happening. And if you can progress further with the Sadhu Sangha, then the real taste will come. Otherwise, before, it will not be fully in, uh, captured by the heart. It is very important. And then gradually progress to Bhava Bhakti, and then Prama Bhakti where Krishna is captured. So Mother Joshuda, how did she do it? She heard all this complaint, not complaint, but suggestion. But in her mind, because she developed this affection for the Lord, for her Lala, Lala means son, uh, she said, Joshuda, the word Joshuda, Josh means fame, glory, um, reputation, adoration, Da means giving. One who is always making Krishna the most glorious, most affectionate, most lovely. That's name is Joshoda. 
So that's how originally Sumo Ghosh, uh, the father, um, and gave this name to his daughter. That's a big pastime how Joshoda is so famous. And then, so Joshoda, after hearing, she thought, I have to do something. Because if I don't discipline, the four way they serve, yeah, is there. Palon, Poshon, Taron, Bhatson. They discipline. Motherly affection means you start, you hear about Joshoda, you see if she's doing these four things. She disciplining, she wants uh, not chastisement in a harsh way. Chastisement because she doesn't want her son to be a gangster in life. She wants her son to be a most lovable, most, he is. But this is what Krishna makes this pastime very likable by igniting this kind of relationship. So how to release this uh, Damodar Lila? It is given like this. That Mother Joshuda was thinking, I have to do something. So she suggested, you know, she has a big palace. Jiva Goswami Pad writes, they have a 50 rooms and 100,000 maid servants. So when you have 100,000 maid servants, can you imagine? Don't imagine you are as a Joshuda. Imagine you are next to Joshuda serving her. Prabhupada says, few times in Veda base you can see. Don't imagine somebody you are, because that's Mayabad conception. You try to follow a Brajabashi. Think yourself as a maid servant of Mother Joshoda. Like we do offer lamp. Every day Krishna comes from the pasturing field. First thing, Mother Joshoda welcome with sweet smile. Oh, my Lala, how are you doing? Then immediately she sees so many bees and bugs. She immediately, one girl comes, you can imagine, to serve, because Prabhupada allowed us in 12th chapter. Ten Kento. Prabhupada said one should endeavor to see how Mother Joshuda dress, how sh her devotion is, what she looks like. Prabhupada gave very sweet so that one can enter. Naham Sukhapa Bhagavan Dehinam. So these, these verses are very clearly explaining and Prabhupada gave a very nice purport. Then this girl comes with a frank incense and then Mother Joshuda goes around the frankincense. She's not doing puja, but that's what the puja is. Puja means you show arati. Rati means attachment, affection. Arati means you show, you display your full affection. So when we do arati to Bhagavan or Prabhupada, we show our love. So that Mother Joshuda is chasing all the bugs because Krishna was playing with the cows and the person. But they're not bugs, they're devotees. They just cannot live without Krishna. So Mother Joshuda... Now is the time for Batsulara, so they have to go. So then incense goes around Krishna, then another girl comes with the lamp. And in the lamp, she, Krishna, uh, Mother Joshuda take the lamp and take, look at each toenails, each uh, limbs, uh, waist and the chest and every part of the body. That's why when you see the Mangalarti or Aruti, the, the Pujari goes around, it's originally from there. Everything originated from Krishna. So Mother Joshuda does this every day, morning and evening. She checks every limbs. Is there a bruises? Oh, another girl with the napkin, the bruises? Oh, no, no bruises. If there is a bruises, then there is a water, wipe it. No, this is not bruises. Then that's why all this water and the nap, uh, napkins. This whole puja paraphernalia is very sweet. What Prabhupada has introduced is the best thing because this is how you enter into Vrindavan. They, that's what they do. But that's, all, that's not what they do as a puja of formalities. That's what they do as an ex expansion of their love. She cares so much that she wants to make sure every part of Krishna is untouched as well, met, and everything is intact, so beautiful. You know, funny thing also, there is a Suramma Anga, in Nectar of Devotion Prabhupada says, Suramma Anga means every part of Krishna, say you saw your nail, you're looking at it. Tomorrow you look at it, after one minute you look at it, it's the same dead matter to me. But when Mother Joshuda look at Krishna's nail, it's like a difference, she never saw it. Every moment, it changes, as if you never seen. Not like a, you ate pizza yesterday, Somebody say, come eat pizza. You say, I know. No, I'm not hungry for pizza. Not like this. In Vrindavan, it is not like this. Every moment, everything, same thing, has a new, new look and new, new relishment. That's why the Batsula Ras 
It's Anurag. Did you mention something? <laughs> no. Okay. There is one chart. How we go all the way to Anurag. Anurag has means Apurva. Means you never saw. She never saw Krishna's nail like this. She is seeing every day eternally. How can she never saw? This is the what Vrindavan conception. Krishna's body, each part of his body, she never saw before. Why is so beautiful? Then she is, why is it real? Like this. Like Mother Sochi. Sochi Mata also relishing Krishna's Lila. One day she called Nimai, come here. Then she saw five blazing fire coming out from his, each toenail. You know, when we offer lamb, there's a five. Because it's originally in spiritual world. So then Mother Swachi got so scared, she rubbing her eyes, some monster or something attacked my son, maybe ghost. Then Jogomaya covered it. But actually eternally from Krishna's toenail and hand, all the time blazing. This is called impersonal Brahman. But those who are intelligent, they know that impersonal Brahman does not have existence independently, separately from Krishna. That's why we neglect that idea of as a goal of life. And Ganis are some or other not intelligent enough. And half of, I think, 30-40% of Prabhupada's lecture is smashing that idea. That Ganis misconception. So anyhow, Mother Joshuda, that's how she receives. So every day, then she, one day she suggested to all the maid servant, I think today I want to do myself milking the cow, boiling the milk, make the butter, Feed, all this prasadam I, I want to make myself and feed him. Then all the maid servant immediately started crying. You think we are not qualified? We rather become than go to the forest and become sannasi and not, if we cannot serve Krishna. And then Mother Josada got frightened. Why? It is not frightened in a bad sense because you remember many pastimes. Now, Prabhupada says there is a two or three demons who are killed every day before lunch. So, by the time Krishna went to cow pasturing six years, and if you think like two or three every day, it's like almost few thousand. But Sukhdev Goswami mentioned only few, because few has a very practical application to our life every day. That's why Sukhdev Goswami just picked. But in Damodar Lila, Krishna was relishing unlimited pastime. We, we chant, Namaste to Dhamnes, we are bound down. Sotta Pratamun is bound down. At the end, he says, um, Lilaya to Bam. I am bowing down to your Ananta Lila. So many pastimes. Why is this Ananta Lila? It's in Damodar Lila. That uh, Mother Joshuda remembers that when Putana took Krishna away, what did Mother Joshuda do? She was shocked. And then saw flying 12 miles body. That most beautiful demigoddess came and now 12 months. She could not move. And then she fainted. But Rohini also, Mother Rohini also did. So who took care of Krishna? Those maid servants. They didn't care. They ran for miles and miles. Then they came back to bring a ladder. Because Putana's body 12 miles. You know, Krishna is holding the breast. The breast is like a mile or I don't know how big it is. You guesstimate. 12 mile body lady, how big it is. So they, had to, they need a big ladder. So they climbed the ladder and then they found. That's how Krishna's name came, Adokshaja. Which he was not visible, now is visible. Every Krishna's name origin in Vrindavan. Gargo Acharya gave. Adokshaja, oh, we just found. He cannot be found before, now we found him. He cannot be rich, but now we reached him. Then they brought him all the way and then gave it to Mother Joshuda's lap. And then she came back to external senses. So Mother Joshuda remember every pastime that these maid servants they have a genuine love for my son more than I do. They are genuine mother. They give, they take care of everything. And she feels guilty if they ever feel like they cannot serve. So this is the dilemma. So then she said, Oh, I'm so sorry. No, 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 you all can serve. But she's thinking, she's praying to Narayan. She has a God. She prays Narayan. Mother Joshuda's conception we should remember. She always think this world, this Nanda Maharaj, myself, this village, all the cows, everything comes uh, manifestation of God. But this son, Krishna, comes from me. This is her conception. Everything comes from God. 
But as for my son, I gave birth, I raised him. This conception you should remember. This is why this beautiful pastime to, takes place that Krishna released. It is not a fault in God that he wants to release this. Because it is, I gave that example before, like you, Srila Jiva Goswami Path gives in the Sandarbhas very nicely, that a person in Adilila chapter 4, I forgot the verse, number, Vishaye jati asuk amar asad, amahoite kutigon asraye rallad, asraye jati asuk paite mandhai, jatne asadite nari, jatne asadite nari ki kori upai. So Prabhupada gave a beautiful purport. I was like a very, Prabhupada is a very rashik. You know, rashik means one who is expert in relishing the transcendental mellow of love. Because his purport was like, <laughs> I was like a very far out. Wow, this is such a good explanation Prabhupada gave. That Krishna, Supreme Personality of Godhead, he always fully satisfied. That is true. Never need anything. He is completely satisfied. But if you search out, how is that possible the God is satisfied completely? What makes him the complete satisfied? Because Srila Prabhupada says that Supreme Personality of Godhead should be always addressed with his potency. Never see God without potency, without Shakti. Then this is not good. Again he says, this Supreme Personality of Godhead should be addressed always with internal potency, marginal potency and external potency. And this internal potency in him, inside him, serving him. And, and then there is a verse again in fourth chapter. Ladini karai krishne ananda asadan ladini dara kare bhakti roposan. This ladini potency, inner nourishment, when serving the Lord inside, that time he is self-satisfied, completely satisfied. He doesn't need anything at that time. That time... That Ladini potency, when it takes the form, she is known as, everybody knows, Srimati Radharani Ki Jai. When that Ladini potency is not visible, then it comes down all the way to your Guru's heart, who gives each disciple, like Prabhupada gave to each disciple, initiation. That itself, Shraddha, is the origin Ladini Shakti's manifestation. And it grows all the way back to Golok Vrindavan, journey ends. Very sweet. So, when Krishna desired, but he desired, desire is intrinsic, identical to Supreme Brahman, also each of us. The Mayavadi and all the misconceptions, they say, give up the desire. You can, you can give up the material desire. You can give up the idea of some troublesome desire, but you cannot give up completely desire. You cannot be desireless. You can be material desireless because desire and free will is intrinsic in the identity of the soul's sambit potency. It cannot be you are one with your desire. Pleasure seeking, if every soul is looking for pleasure, that is itself is the soul. Soul is pleasure seeking by nature. Prabhupada quote this verse. Um, um, so, uh, Jiva Sukhanneshi, very sweet in the purport, just a little word. He says, Jiva Sukhanneshi, pleasure seeking by nature. When we come to Krishna, that time our pleasure seeking nature becomes complete. Until we come, that pleasure seeking nature will stay eternally with the conditioned soul. That's the only reason why we want to come to Krishna consciousness because. Lord Krishna has endowed a particular eternal dominant, eternal sentiment in the heart of every soul. Until that sentiment is revived, our satisfaction will be disturbed by two things. We will be looking for material enjoyment or we will be looking for impersonal disease called loneliness. Loneliness, you know loneliness, you can be with your husband, wife, children, still you feel like I should do something. Why you have to do so anything? Because you are not happy, even though you have everyone. This is very important, scientific way, Srila Prabhupada explains. These two diseases are very dangerous, and these two diseases disappear when we come to 
Suddha Satta, pure goodness, by the mercy of Prabhupada, by the mercy of pure Guru, then it is possible. So, one day, Madhav Joshoda. Oh, I didn't complete that. Then Krishna, <laughs> sorry. Then Krishna, he is fully satisfied, but one day he also desired. But that desire is not coming from his incompleteness. Don't misunderstand this. Like, I desire, I need some water because I am thirsty. Krishna is not like this. It is like an overflowing of his ecstasy. He danced. Why are you dancing if you are happy? Well, is there anything wrong? No, there is nothing wrong. If you, uh, you are already happy, but you are dancing. So Krishna, his desire is like this. He desired that I want to see that pleasure, potency of me, mind, that so much inside. So then she came out. She has passion and she's running after the Lord to satisfy. This passion is called Raga. Raga and Dhabati means running after. So this original Radha, the word Radha originated from there, Jiva Goswami Path gives. Then from that origin, everything started. Then Srimati Radhika expanded herself as a mother Joshoda. Mother Joshuda, Prabhupada, in previous chapter and chapter before, many purport, he is repeating the same thing. This Mother Joshuda is Nitya Siddha expansion, not to be understood from this uh, Jiva, Tattva, or somebody became. She is eternally Krishna's mother. The Bachchula is the expansion of Madhur Rash to compare how Krishna can be released, can be nourished. This is overwhelming of Krishna's ecstasy. So Mother Joshoda was thinking how to do it. So Jogomaya arranged it. One day, there was the Indra Jagna Puja. Indra Puja, you know Indra Puja? When Krishna was seven years old, that became Govardhan Puja. But until that day, every year they used to have an Indra Puja. This is not something new. From Prajjana Maharaj, Nanda Maharaj's father. So on the Indra Puja, day before Diwali, all the maid servant were in a meeting and says, well, we have to do a big puja so that Krishna's mischievousness will come down. Mother Joshoda says, I all agree 100% with you. But one thing first, we cannot take Krishna in that puja because you know him. He eats the bhoga, he does not let offer to Narayan and he's, he's going to make a mess. So you all go and make a big festival to please Indra. And I will personally keep him here because he cannot go there. He will not allow anybody to do puja because he always running here, there, kicking, showing this, this, that is mischievous. Krishna is the most, if you come to Krishna is most, you become fearless. But Mother Jashoda is fully fearful. Why? Because Krishna is such a mischievous child, not like a child of this world. Child, he's like every moment he's like running from this room to, you know, 50 rooms. You understand how he runs? <laughs> he's running from one room to another room, going out and bumping, falling over. And Mother Joshuda always afraid, oh no, he's bruised and everywhere. But no bruise, he's Satchidananda. Namami Sharam, Satchidananda Rupam. The 18, 18 defects, we'll, we'll write it later, 18 defects are not in Satchidananda form. 18 mistakes, 18 fault are not in Satchidananda Rupam. Satchidananda, because sometimes Krishna explained what is not soul, you cannot be caught, you cannot be killed in the beginning. So we have to know also what are not in Satchidananda form, then it will be easy because those things in me, those 18, but it's not in Satchidananda. So then Mother Joshoda kept him there. She had a very sweet cows, Padmini. evening, they were singing and crying and hugging and kissing so much. You understand? I may not be able to finish completely, but let me tell you why on the second verse, 
Rudantam Muhur Netra Jugma Mijantam Taya Mochit O Bhakti. Why Rudantam? Why is he crying? Mother Josuda never, never beat Krishna, never harmed Krishna. She only fear him, never such thing in Vrindavan, anybody harm or anybody. There's no such thing except the demons. They come for some purpose they need to be. But there is no such thing. Mother Josuda never, ever hit Krishna, never. But she takes the stick. Why? Because to fear him so that he, he gets disciplined. But why then is he was trembling and fear? Because the, not because of that. So the Sanatan Goswami Path says that Damodar brought the day before, Mother Josuda giving little things, Krishna says, why want this? Of course you want this. And then she kisses hundred times on the head. This is Batsularas. They kisses on the head and the cheeks. But today, he is crying. He was running. He was so many million things happened. Nobody even keep giving one kiss. And he was so devastated and he cried and cried and cried. Not only that, it's worse. Krishna never wiped his own tears. Everybody was coming with every girls. Can you imagine 100,000 girls coming to wipe one person's tears? How much tears? Even you do it, another girl says, did you cry something happened? Today he's crying and nobody's there. And he has to wipe his own. Karambuja jugmeno sadanko netram. Karambuja means karo, ambuja means two hand. He's trying and he's saying, nobody kissing me, nobody's wiping mine. And he's so sad, he's crying. That was very sad. So in that Leela, Mother Joshuda and Krishna bonded so close. He became so beautiful, then they fell asleep. Generally they go upstairs and sleep, but today they fell asleep in that room. That time, what happened at the end, it became almost Mangalarti time, Brahma Muhurta time. Mother Joshua immediately thought, oh, I have to do everything by myself. So, but seeing Krishna's beauty, she was hesitant to leave. But she has to do it to discipline him so that he will never steal. If he eats cooked by her, then he will never steal because he will get the nourishment. And once he learned that not to steal, then everything will be peaceful. So Mother Jasuda got up and then left the door halfway closed and then she took quick bath. Prabhupada is so nice. He says, why Mother Jasuda need to take bath? You may think also, because we may, will be thinking. Why so much? Because she is so much worried about Krishna's well-being. She's thinking, if I don't take bath, if this dirty from last night, it's not good, it's yucky, I should have a fresh to do anything for Krishna. That's why she takes bath. But she is an embodiment of purity, not like Subal Swami, you know, Subal Swami, Prabhupada Sannasi. He was uh, in LA. Uh, he was, uh, they went for a morning walk and he came back and then he disappeared for a second and he came out with clean feet. Prabhupada said, what are you doing in the kitchen, DT kitchen? Oh, I just washed my feet. You should not do that. You should not use that. No, no, this is, uh, this is pure Prabhupada. It's made of stainless steel. <laughs> Prabhupada said, purity is not made of stainless steel. <laughs> so, because purity is, is a conception, you know, feeling, conception. So Subal Swami understood that, Subal Maharaj. So like that, so Mother Joshuda has like same feeling. She has a feeling that anything dirt, dirt, there's no dirt in Vrindavan, but she has a feeling. She wants to have everything clean for Krishna so that he will have a healthy body. Three things she always beg for every person coming to Vrindavan. Give blessing to my son Nanda Maharaj also, so he can live long life. Give blessing to my son that he never have obstacle in life. And give a blessing to my son that he has always healthy body to enjoy anything he wants. This is a three blessing always she looks for. Prabhupada put it in an act of devotion. I just picked it. He didn't say three. I just made the number uh, of that paragraph. So then Mother Josuda was cleaning and then she came back and she started boiling the milk and then she started churning. Then Krishna's beauty started, you know, halfway a door closed and then she is like not 
sound will wake him up, but what can she do? Nothing else. She wants to look at him. His beauty is like every moment coming new, new. At the same time, she wants to churn the milk to make the butter. So then she is like a duality. duality that she made the door halfway and then she started. But then she remembered. Sukhdev Goswami, previous chapter 12. Yeah, the last verse you will see that Prabhupada gave the translation. They had to revive him to external senses. Didn't Sukhdev Goswami talk Bhagavatam? Yes. Internally he is seeing millions of the pastimes. They have to have a big Mridanga Kartal and all this to bring him out. Prabhupada says they have to bring him external senses. Then he comes and says, Oh, King Parikshit is here. He is going to die in a few days. Three and a half days passed. Now he's ten canto. So he's thinking like this. Three and a half days left. Then all that, okay, okay. Then he's coming to the external. Then he pulling one pastime and telling. Like this, he is so much inner world. And to absorb in the Leela, Srila Vishana Chakuti Thakur says, we have to also absorb. Why? You know why? If you ask any devotee, not devotee, I'm sorry. If any karmi, can you sit down here for six hours? Just look at yourself. They don't like it. That's why they want to watch a movie, read a novels, go to a movie, or eat something, do something. Why? Because what is coming from us individually as a karmi is not palatable. They want to call chit chat, texting, or calling somebody, something they want pleasure from outside. This is biggest disease of the second disease. But Sukhdev Goswami is proving, Parikshit Maharaj is proving that when we are absorbing this Leela, Damodar Leela, then we will go inner world. We will never have to move. Million years you can sit here and just be completely ecstasy. This is called spiritual world. Where is, where is Krishna? In the heart. Where is back home, back to God? In the heart. First come to here, then you see Krishna outside. It's very sweet. Srila Prabhupada nicely um, explained this. In the third canto. So then Mother Joshoda, while she was doing unlimited pastimes came to her. And she created a beautiful audience. Who are in the audience? So many devotees. But then we heard nobody was there. Oh no, no. There was so many devotees. Why? The devotee takes the form of a her Bengals. They come. Over there, Bengal is not a dead matter. Bengal is a conscious living, uh, pure devotee, uh, ragatmic uh, followers. They are called Raganuga, that we are becoming. The, all the Bengals, they are making jun 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 sound. She is churning, the, her earring. When she is so much absorbed, somebody loves Krishna Katha so much, that he becomes earring, takes a form in the drawer of Mother Joshoda. Jogamaya uh, allows, then Mother Joshoda wears and then talks about Krishna. So like this, all the devotee takes, then when she's talking, started talking about the Krishna Lila, then this earring going back and forth, making beautiful, nice music, the, uh, all the bracelet, bangle, ear, rings, earrings, then her charming sticks is a devotee. He's making a tuck, 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 no, no, you know, like all this. Sanatam Goswami Path gives such a dramatic, it was a big audience. And Mother Joshoda started crying so much. The tears coming, it's like a Ganga and Jamuna, Prabhupada put, Ganga and Jamuna flowing so much. And because, why? It is not that it is said, because Krishna's beauty, I never saw, it's so beautiful that you feel like, express your af affection, express your feeling through crying. That's why their tears is a nourishing. By the way, Nectar of Devotion, chapter 24, I believe, Prabhupada says, every devotee, must learn how to cry. When he cries, that tears become the extinguishing power of material existence. I thought very beautiful way Prabhupada put it. That means any devotee feel cry to, for Prabhupada, for Guru, Krishna, that time that tears, the tears is becoming extinguishing and it, it removes all the unnecessary things from the heart. So even if we if I cannot cry, let's pray to cry. Prabhupada, make me cry for you. Make me cry for Radha Damodar. Like this. It's important. Prabhupada did say that. This is what's called Sangsarodava Nalalira Loka. Tranaya Karana Ghana Ghanatam. Every day we sing. So that time, Mother Joshuda, so much absorbed. And Krishna, who was in the heart, he started dancing and hearing, yes, go on, go on. All this pastime. And he's dancing and chanting. 
And Mother Joshua is going, she has no idea. And she, she, his fo foot and the, all this ecstasy coming to her body and then inside, Mother Joshua completely pleasing him. And she is absorbed. The baby Krishna who is externally, you remember that verse, Antar Bahir Avastitam Prabhupada said, devotee should see Krishna inside and outside, both. So there is outside Krishna. When, he got, when she got absorbed with her mind, with her speaking, Leela, and her uh, body, all merges, then the outside Krishna woke up. He said, wow, she is drinking too much nectar. I need to drink that too, even though he's drinking inside. So uh, there is a very nice Siddhanta about that, but it's a little long later. So then Mother Joshoda uh, is going this and absorb and so much. Then Krishna comes, sat down. He said, Maya, Maya means mother. I'm hungry. She is, she is complete in her inner world. She didn't hear. Maya, I'm hungry. Didn't hear. Then he got up. Then he comes. Maya, I'm hungry. No, no response. She is completely absorbed. Then he put, it's a trick of left hand on her shoulder, you know, like a baby goes mother neck. Then she, she wiped her tears and said, oh, Lala, you woke up, I'm sorry. Say, I'm hungry. He said, okay, I almost done, almost done. I'll finish it because this is for you, for you. I'm making barfi and other with this. I have to make the butter. Then Krishna, Krishna, when he desire, he desire. Nobody can stop, but he's so genius. So then Krishna grabbed the, um, rope that churned the stick, he grabbed that stick. Then Mother Joshua, the trying it doesn't move because he grabbed it. Then she opened her eyes and said, oh, my son, you are so intelligent. Now I can't do, okay, I'll give you milk. Then she put him on the lap because she can't churn. So then while she's giving milk, Krishna was very sucking like a, she, he is so hungry. The milk is not a milk. It is the affection Mother Joshuda has. So much abundant. Srila Prabhupada writes in Nectar of Devotion, you know, in every uh, festival we do Abhishek. Prabhupada writes, Mother Joshuda has so much breast milk, it's soaked Krishna. So he, he literally, breast milk coming out like a pouring and bathe. Srila Prabhupada says, in Abhishek, we must use milk, otherwise it will not be complete. Because Krishna is bathed by Mother Joshoda's breast milk every day. This is called Abhishekam, bathing ceremony. So Prabhupada introduced and every day, every day they do in the every temple. So that time Krishna is drinking, but then she saw in the um, what do you call uh, oven the milk boiling, overlapping. If we don't understand the definition of bhakti, it will be very difficult to com uh, accommodate this pastime is the highest form of relishment. Then she saw the milk is over boiling. Then immediately she put Krishna down. So Sanatana Goswami Pad is giving that Putana had a 60,000 elephant power. Bhima only had 10,000. Putana had 60,000 from Durvasa. Putana tried this little finger to move. She could not do. Then she try to fly away towards Kongsa Mathura, maybe he will help if I can. So that's why she tried to get out. But she could not. What kind of power is Krishna that 60,000 elephant power cannot move his tiny little baby finger? Here Mother Joshuda, you sit down. He sit down. No power. Because of love. So much love. So much affection. So then question comes, is Krishna's drinking is more important or making him angry, unsatisfied? while attending the boiling milk. Srila Rupa Goswami Pad explains this in his Nectar of Devotion and Jiva Goswami Pad further extended that there has to be two considerations we should always remember. The definition of love, definition of bhakti means which is devoid of jnana, karma and yoga and everything. At the same time, am I going too much? Oh. Uh, let me complete this and then I'll uh, stop it. I'm sorry. Uh, he says that if you, if you uh, don't remember these two things, then it will be difficult. What Mother Josuda's conception in this case? Mother Josuda has a one conception. That conception is that 
I cannot grow this child with my own breast milk. He needs card, cheese, he, he needs uh, buttermilk, he needs butter, he needs so many things. So I need that milk. Because in Govardhan Puja, I mean, in, yes, Govardhan Puja, when Krishna lifted, two things happened to Mother Joshuda. She saw her tearful eye, Krishna lifted. Did he lift? She knows my son is not a Bhagavan, so how can he lift? He said, Nanda Maharaj is so good husband. He always prays to Narayan. He always worship by Narayan's power through my son. Narayan is holding the whole mountain. This is one conception. Another conception, she also thought, I fed him so much card and butter and all this. Now I see that he can, he can be used by Narayan. So how, that conception is eternally with her. So she is thinking like this. And then she is... I cannot do it. So she had to attend the milk. There is no fault. Why? Because she never had a, any idea to harm this boy Krishna. She always has the idea how to raise him the most perfect way. In the other example is given that in wrestling arena when Chandra and Mustigo was like hitting Krishna's muscle, then Krishna seems like a smiling. Is that bhakti? Is that pure love? And Rupa Goswami Path says, no, this is not pure love. Because what was their intention? Come on. <laughs> to hurt him, to kill him. Therefore, the bhakti, when we think of love, we should always remember these two things. Abhapati, abhapati and apvapati. Means not overextended, not underextended. The bhakti, pure love that we follow is the perfect example. It is between these two parameters. What is the natural intention of the devotee has? What is the feeling before we offer? It is very important. That's how Mother Joshoda, the chase began. And then we'll discuss another day. Is that okay? Thank you. Jai Shri Mother Joshoda ki jai Radha Damodar ji ki jai. By the way, just I have to finish this one second. There is a three Damodar Lila. Three Damodar Lila. Because this question somebody asked, I said, I'm going to address, and it will not be proper. If you have to leave, you can leave. I don't feel bad. I feel very good. Don't worry. <laughs> so one Lila is, there is a coward boy. Sometimes Krishna, like we are reading, sometimes Krishna goes out of feeling. Each mother gopi sometimes has so much love. So she's cooking and she's thinking, this Kanaya is so much I love him, I love him like anything. She, her tears mixes with the vegetable, you know? You ever experience? <laughs> so when, when she gives the prasadam to her child, then Krishna, everybody hang the lunch bag in the tree. Then they have to kill the demon, then come back and share the lunch. They have a whole pastimes. So then he comes back, then Krishna is thinking, that mother put so much affection through the tears with this sabji. So he goes and steal that. Back. And he eats gobble up, you know, gobble up, like today we read, like swallow up. Krishna ate, and then the boy is saying, Where's my lunch back? Everybody is quiet. <laughs> then he's not, something is not right. So they found out, Ah, oh, you, Krishna, I can't believe you did that. So he talked to little elderly, grown up, like a, uh, Ujjal and other, their little strong Sridham, like feisty. I can't believe he stole my lunch. What should I do? Well, I don't know. Do something. Okay, he bring a big rope and tie him up with a tree. That's it. You're not going to enjoy lunch. You will have no lunch until you arrange my lunch. <laughs> Krishna is, okay, what can I do? What do you want? Oh, I don't want only one lunch. Now I want two because you stole one. Well, I don't have a lunch. Maybe you can give baller arms. Balaram's. I, I'm already troubled with one lunch. If I get Balaram's lunch, I'll be in double trouble. No, no, no. <laughs> I can't do that. So that, this is called Sakha Damodar. This is also this month. They celebrate as a coward boys. They tie up also Krishna. His name is Damodar. Dam means a rope and Udar means stomach. How Krishna is tied by the coward boy. And those who are following that, they follow from the Akadoshi day. They follow. Then there is a Joshoda Damodar that we'll discuss later. Every day there will be discussion. 
Yashoda Damodar. Then, in the separation feeling, there are few instances because time is short. One in, 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 in just I'm briefing it that Srimadhi Radhika was promised that Krishna will be there at this time, but he did not come. But he was so late, so late. Then finally he comes, and then Srimadhi Radhika is in a sulky mood. Sulky mood, we should always remember sulky mood because some devotee maybe have a misconception. Sulky mood means when you have a, such a passion, love for that person, that person has an equally passion love for you. So much love for each other that they cannot be separated, always together. But they come to a place where they're not even embracing. How is it possible? So much love, not embracing, not talking, not doing anything. It's like not showing even face. This is called sulkiness. Sulkiness means they have a love, but something has caused this. It's not like a, of this world, I get divorced, or, all right, goodbye. This is not sulkiness idea. Sulkiness means like this, they have so much. Like when you give so much to someone, everything you give, and that person give everything to you, like Radharani gives fully to Krishna, and Krishna gives fully to Radha, and then Krishna goes to some other girl, then other anything, he's not going to be happy. I can't believe he doesn't listen. Oh, then she gets a little moody. This is not, this is not a, anything wrong. It is a nourishment. It is an expansion of nourishment. Some idea, I'm just throwing this so that we'll understand. Then Srimati Radhika, she is in a great sulkiness. That time Krishna comes and Lalita said, That's it. You are in trouble again. Yesterday you had a trouble. So she takes the dopat. Dopat means the veil of Radharani and tie him up with Radharani's waist. And he is stuck there for a whole day. Every day they do this festival in one planet in Golok Vrindavan. Therefore, Radha Damodar is eternally everyday fe program, festival. But Joshoda Damodar is not everyday. So when we sing Radha Damodar, is nothing harm. It is the highest Prabhupada gave. Jaya Radha Damodar Radha Damodar Radha Jaya Radha Damodar Radha Damodar Radha Jai Sula Prabhupada ki, Jai Sumatha Vaishnabinda ki, Jai Nitai Gaurapramanande Hari Hari Bo.